On their farm near Woodrow, Don and Dolores Fowser can't go far without running into clusters of grasshoppers. And they've not only consumed the couple's harvest-ready canola and durum crops. They strip the tarragonas of their leaves. They look like they do in January right now. And then we went back a few days later and they were on the evergreens eating needles. So I guess they're getting desperate for food. They've come as far as the house, eating peony and raspberry plants on the deck and clinging to windows and doors, even showing up inside. And it's not just the Fousers contending with these critters. Going into the spring, we did have uh, you know, a significant amount of grasshopper eggs. Todd Lewis farms just south of Regina. He says the insects are one more problem farmers are coping with this year. Certainly in areas where it's been dry and uh, the crops are struggling, they are, have been a very big problem and, and really will continue to be right until, the, until uh, what's in the field is taken off and, uh, and, and, in, and been, you know, is harvested and, and put it up into the bins. Oh, there's a two-stripe male. And you can see how obvious the stripes are. Provincial entomologist James Tansey says weather conditions last year created a perfect storm for grasshopper growth this year. And we had a nice warm spring, uh, so that sped them through their development. They, uh, so we had an early hatch, a bit of green feed, so we had a bit of moisture in the spring to, uh, to uh, uh, spur their feeding and allow further development. And uh, probably most important, a really long, uh, dry, protracted late summer and fall. Uh, so there was a really long period for these animals to get the, uh, to get eggs into the ground. Last year, nearly 3,500 grasshoppers were counted at insect survey stations across the prairies. But that count has fluctuated through the years. It was most recently highest in 2016, when nearly 3,800 were counted. While this year's numbers are yet to be determined, the Prairie Pest Monitoring Network says grasshopper numbers continue to be greatest in southern Saskatchewan, and that egg laying for next year is now beginning. Tansy says many of this year's grasshoppers are still young, and as long as the weather stays dry and warm, they'll continue to thrive. Which means Don and Dolores Fowser will be putting up with the critters for a while longer. Ethan Williams, CBC News. Regina.